Angry Netflix bosses leaked fatal clause made Meghan and Harry can't make a dime from the contract. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Netflix bosses have been slammed by Britons for not researching the pair before signing a lucrative deal with them. Harry and Meghan have signed a deal for a Netflix show rumored to be worth over $100 million. But after receiving a chorus of boos as well as cheers at their much-anticipated appearance at the Platinum Jubilee, their new showbiz bosses will have some damning questions for them, according to a royal commentator. Users slammed the lack of foresight from the network chiefs, saying the disapproval of Harry and Meghan would have been obvious if they had had their ears to the ground. User Tada said, Truth is, they never had anything to sell. They are preaching to the world about living green and having a low-carbon footprint is a joke. They have a huge carbon footprint taking jets everywhere they go. The couple faced criticism after returning to California in a private jet that exceeded their recommended carbon footprint for the year ten times over in a single trip. Chazabi added, the booing should not have come as a surprise to Netflix if they had had their ears to the ground. If Netflix didn't know it before, they should know by now that their investment in Meghan and Harry is very much a loss-making investment. Netflix would do well to just cut their losses now. Tam Scott argued that the hurt to the royal family was a key reason for the mixed reception, they were booed because they hurt our queen, a woman that has served our country for over 70 years, shameful behavior. Sirius 308, meanwhile, said, I think I know why they were booed. A lot of people don't like them. Royal expert Neil Sean had said that the hostile reaction to the couple will have come as a big shock. Speaking on his YouTube channel yesterday morning, the royal commentator claimed that company bosses at Netflix, Spotify, and Penguin Random House, who all have deals with the Sussexes, want answers about the reaction. He explained, as members of the royal family, you are used to being warmly welcomed at events, and any protests or unwelcome reactions are controlled by the police. But as celebrities, you can't really control the crowds. And that is what happened when Harry and Meghan rocked up outside St. Paul's Cathedral as part of the Thanksgiving service. Sharon Osbourne proved to be her typically outspoken self as she discussed Harry and Meghan on Talk TV's Piers Morgan Uncensored on Monday night. The Platinum Jubilee marked one of the couple's first high-profile appearances in the UK since announcing their intention to step back from royal duties in an Instagram post in January 2020, shortly before moving to California. Speaking about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex amid their appearance at the weekend, 69-year-old Sharon ranted, they are of no importance. They lost their importance, they don't mean anything, the country wasn't that overjoyed. She went on, I didn't hear many people go, this is amazing. I must say the country didn't react one way or the other. But the way they kind of came in and went, was a huge signal that I don't think we'll see them here much again. Earlier Sharon had been somewhat slightly more complimentary, however, admitting that the pair were not booed as loudly as Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Speaking about the image of the Queen pictured on the Buckingham Palace balcony with Prince Charles. Camilla, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three children, she concluded, it gave people confidence, that this is the family who will be here after the Queen is no longer here. Last week, meanwhile, Mrs. O thanked rapper Jamal Rajad for helping save her daughter Amy's life following a Hollywood studio fire that killed one person and injured two others. The former X Factor judge took to Instagram to share her gratitude for the part Raj had played in rescuing her eldest child from the building during the blaze. Amy, 38, was working with a producer at the time and her relieved mother responded on the social media platform to a comment from Rajad's wife Pretty Face Rare, who is also a rapper.